Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of Mega Block Set 91019, the Goblin Trike. Has 65 pieces for ages 8 and up. It's from the World of Warcraft series, and this set retails for $12.99. And here in the front, you can see that this is actually the Goblin Turbo Trike, which is the epic version of the Goblin Trikes. And you can tell because of the yellow wheels on the sides there, and the antenna, among other things. On the side of here, we have a picture of the Goblin. And you'll see that his name is Pitts, and he's a Goblin Warrior. And he has a pretty good looking armor set too. Down here you can see some of the other sets, and I'll talk about this in more detail coming up. First we'll take a look at the Goblin, and just like all of the other World of Warcraft characters that they made, there's a lot to appreciate with the details that they put into these. Such as the red eyeballs, right there, it kind of gives them an evil look. Down to the gold outline on the gear, which looks pretty good overall, although they kind of messed up a little bit right there in the chest. You see that? But I don't think it's like that for everyone. And if you take a look, closer look at the shoulders, I like how they added that scaly look to it. That looks really good. And here's the view of the back. And right there we have a hole. And that's where you can attach this little clip here. This we can hold his weapon on the back there. And this is the Lava Forged Warhammer. And here's a closer look at this. We have some printing on both sides. And this fits in just nicely right there. See? Not too bad. And here's what he looks like. Half naked. Now we'll take a look at the Goblin Turbo Trike. And I'll start by saying that it's a relatively easy build, mainly because of the small amount of parts that it uses. So it's good for the younger kids. However, as an adult and as a huge fan of Blizzard, you'll find that the Goblin Trike is pretty inaccurate to the in-game model. And I'll cover the inaccuracies as we go along. For now, here's the view of the side. And as you can see, they did a pretty good job with the wheels and the sides here because they put in the extra effort for the details there. However, I do wish that they put in the same amount of effort up here and on the sides right there in the front because the front over here looks pretty basic and there's supposed to be like two little pipes sticking out. And I tried to replicate that on my own model, which I built about a year ago. And this is still in the prototype phase because it's not really perfect. But as you can see, those are the pipes that are supposed to be sticking out. And when you look at the back, this is really inaccurate. And just to do a little quick comparison, okay, there's supposed to be a license plate right here in the middle, and these two lights are supposed to be on top of the red ones. The little rocket here is supposed to be a little higher, and up here there's supposed to be some orange spikes sticking out, like this. And I have this in yellow, orange, and red because there's like a small little flame pattern right there. And as you can see, this one looks really basic. And if you look at the other Goblin Turbo Trikes, they don't have this kind of design. So this is new. And here's the view of the other side. I do like how they added this little detail up here, although I do wish that they add the stripes on the other side too. This way it looks more complete. Here's the view of the front. Now the thing about the front is that I will admit that it's pretty hard to replicate in construction toy form because if you look at the in-game model, there's a lot of details to cover here. There's supposed to be a wooden barrel right there in the middle. This little red light is supposed to be in front of this gray piece right there. And this part right here is supposed to be yellow. If you look at the Mega Box version, they actually made a custom part for this. And I think if they're going to do that, they should have made this part yellow as well. This way it looks like they went all the way with it. But oh well. And I think what you'll find pretty interesting is that the seat over here can actually recline. Which is good too, because now I can fit in a figure of any size, big and small. And just to show you, we'll take the Goblin. And you'll have to stick that into his back. And that's what happens when you design something without a seatbelt. And there we have it. And because he's small, we'll just have him recline all the way to the front. And you can't attach his hands to the steering wheel, although it does require quite a bit of effort. And there we are. See that? That looks pretty good. And you'll notice that the seat is all the way up here. And since I'm already here, let me just show you what a bigger figure would look like in there. And we'll take for example... I have Thrall from BlizzCon 2011. He's not wearing anything on the bottom because he won't fit in otherwise. Besides, he's the war chief. It's not like the orcish patrols can stop him for any indecencies, you know what I mean? Anyway, the only weird thing is that this peg usually comes out when you pull out the goblin. And the same will happen with Thrall too, but that's the only bad thing about it. And this time you'll have to have the seat recline all the way to the back. This way you can actually fit. And we'll just attach his hands to the steering wheel. There we go. Usually it takes me longer, but at this point I'm pretty used to it now. And he looks pretty good. 
See? There's a view of the top. There's the bottom. And I think that just about covers it. So now we'll move on to the recommendations. Overall, I would say my feelings are pretty mixed on this one. And I'll start at the value. We have a price per piece ratio of 20 cents per piece, which is pretty high when you compare it to other Mega Bloks sets. And we don't get any extra parts either, so for 13 bucks, you only get 65 pieces. So ideally, I would recommend you wait for it to go on sale or on a discount. And when it comes to play value, I would say it's pretty good for the younger kids because, as I mentioned earlier, it's really easy to build, and plus it's really durable too. Nothing really falls apart on this one, so yeah, it's pretty good. And it does everything that a Goblin Turbo Trick can do, which is just go forward and backwards. However, for the adults and collectors, I think you would feel better about your purchase if you got it at at least a 30% discount, because it is pretty inaccurate to the in-game model. Although I do want to end on a positive note, and that is, the Goblin Trike actually comes with one of the really good looking armor sets too. So if you're looking to customize your figure sometime in the future, then you should definitely get yourself one of these because the shoulders on this one looks really, really good. I'm just waiting for them to release a Tarn Warrior and then I'm going to swap the shoulders for sure. And that seems to sum up my review. So I hope you guys enjoyed this show and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.